Uh, we think uh, that if you work an honest day's uh, hours, honest days of labor, then you deserve to be paid. You also deserve to be treated like a human being, not like a, uh, a serf or, or something like that. Um, we provide extremely good benefits. Our medical plan um, is second to none in this area. Uh, I can attest to that. Uh, I've had uh, major surgery in the last three years um, that uh, nobody could afford uh, if it hadn't been for the insurance. Uh, my wife uh, had breast cancer 30 some years ago. We couldn't have afforded it 30 some years ago. I mean, a, a good health plan is essential. And we've always done that. We've always uh, tried to respect our people and treat them as people. Hickory Springs is, uh, has always had integrated workforce. I mean, we, we were hiring minorities back in the 40s and working them side by side with whites even then. We, had, uh, we think we had the first black supervisor in Catawba County supervising both blacks and whites at the same time. Presented problems at times, they separated, they brought them back together because it didn't make economic sense to have them separated. But overall, we've tried to, you know, we, we've uh, tried to uh, look at everybody as people, not as colors or anything else. We've always hired a lot of women. Of course, the Catawba County area has always employed a lot of women. Uh, the textile industry and the furniture industry both had a lot of jobs that were suited, um, well suited for both sexes, and um, at the time, sewing, which is in a big part of both of them, uh, was considered by society, not necessarily by us, is, um, as more of a woman's job. Um, so there, I mean, other minorities have moved in. We have a uh, plant out in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and uh, at the fall of South Vietnam, a lot of refugees came in for, uh, into that area from South Vietnam. They made extremely good employees. We hired, uh, you know, we knew we were in bad need of labor at the time. They, uh, they saved us out there. Um, Hispanics have now moved into our area in, in big numbers. Uh, and, you know, this is all generalizations, which can get you in trouble when you're talking about uh, ethnic groups. But uh, generally, they make very, very good employees um, and get along with everybody else. Uh, it's... Um, Catawba County generally has a good workforce. Right now, we just don't have enough of them. Uh, unemployment is uh, very low here. It's back to where it was uh, pre-crash. Uh, and um, another problem is when upholstered furniture started going overseas, primarily to China, uh, we lost a lot of our training facilities for uh, upholsters. When I was at Hickory High, we had a uh, furniture department. It was funded and uh, supplied by all the local furniture companies and furniture supply companies. Uh, CVT, it was CCTI, I believe, at the time, Catawba County Technical Inst Institute or whatever, but they ran a program uh, to taught upholstered furniture. When you came out of there, you could go straight into a good paying job and uh, and upholster furniture, and um, everything was great. Both those programs ceased in the last few years. Now, uh, CVCC is now trying, is, in the last three or four years, has brought it back, and it's badly needed. Uh, they were doing the, the uh, community a huge service by doing that, and I think every one of them is hired as soon as they come out of there.